There he is, right okay, by the lasers. That is a beautiful shot of that animal. So we actually have uh, Tina Molotsova on the chat room today, who's one of the world's foremost authorities on this particular type of an, of Cnidarian, which are called Syrianarians, uh, or Tuban enemies. Yeah. Yeah. Should laser across this as we go away. Uh, this is one of the better views we've seen from the side that exposes the tube of this Tuban enemy. And so I'll take the opportunity to point out that the tube is built by the anemone. Um, it's a combination of mucus and these specialized we'll cells that it rock can fire. To the right the same so kind of cell on the that uh, jellyfish yeah. and other cnidarian fires right stain right right well. their prey and capture their prey. Uh, but it's a different modification of it. It's one that doesn't sting, but instead is ejected. They are sticky and they sort of hold together in kind of a mesh-like fashion with okay. some mucus. When you're good on this, I'll try to get that. Sand and other stuff that's in the environment. Yeah, the clear. inside of that tube will be really, really smooth. Yeah. So Tina, do you have any um, do you have any possibility here for family? Is it in the Seriantidae or some other family in uh, that particular group? Yeah, no problem, Jasper. So Patty, it's sort of, yeah, Tina is saying it's hard to to uh, tell what family it could be in. Do you want to see the front of this, Chris? Yeah, you know what, um, let's go ahead and do one snap zoom right where the, the mouth of it is, because yeah, that might be informative for Tina to narrow it down a little bit. Yeah, that's a nice shot. That's something that might be helpful. Yeah. Yeah. So she's um, speculating it could be in the family Serianthidae. So these are a little bit like the uh, feather duster worms of those of you who have ever been scuba diving in tropical waters here that um, if you were to disturb this particular animal it would very quickly retract into that tube. This is house. It's kind of nice that um, this particular one is sensing no disturbances and is fully extended out of the tube for us to get a good look at. I think we're fine, uh, pilot from science. Hey, copy that, Chris. Another way these differ from your more typical <laughs> sea anemone, in addition the to pilot? the two rings of tentacles, yeah, is that the bottom of seconds. the body is uh, more or less pointy rather than um, flat. Hey, right, can come up. Yeah, thank you, Scott. So you zoomed out. There was a single polyps, Larentinian. I don't.